Hi, I'm Claude. I'm Taryn. And I'm Scott, and you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black pea. <laughs> the story's about uh, uh, the Who's down in Whoville, the tall and the small, and uh, they love Christmas. And up on the Mount Crumpet lives the Grinch, who hates Christmas and everything associated with it. They make that very apparent that he hates Christmas. He hates everything about Christmas. He hates Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Christmas Feast, everything about Christmas. This big guy that's very hairy, and he's all green, and he tries to steal Christmas. Basically, the Grinch is, is disgusted with the commercialism of Christmas, the toys and the, and the bells and the whistles and the everything. And when he takes it all away and it's still there, and it's just the emotion and the feeling of the holidays uh, uh, that's, that remains behind after everything else is stripped away, um, that's what it's all about. That's what Christmas is about, and that's what the Grinch learns, that it's still going to come no matter what he does to take it away. I grew up on Dr. Seuss. I think I've read every Dr. Seuss book. It's a classic. Every year you'd look forward to seeing it on TV, hearing that music. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, and you know, it was, it was part of Christmas. I didn't read the book. I didn't see the movie. I don't know what it is about. I don't know anything really that happened before I saw the musical. I loved it as a stage show. I was really excited because I brought my two and a half year old son to see and this was his first show and I was surprised that he sat the whole thing through without moving. He, his eyes were like bulging. He loved it. I brought my daughter with me, Elizabeth. She's seven years old. She was just dazzled by the whole thing. Uh, uh, the snow and the confetti and the, uh, the story, the singing, the dancing, the children on stage, she just loved it all. I thought that it was a little bit boring. Patrick Page, he was phenomenal. I loved him. He was very, sometimes actors can be, uh, they can be in a children's show but not really able to draw children out, but he was, he was funny, he was, he was really good in it. He was evil. And he hated Christmas. I think that uh, 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 Patrick Page as the Grinch, he was just great, slithery and, and uh, cheesy and campy and everything you'd want the Grinch to be. Cindy Lou, she was good. I was surprised with her performance uh, for, I, th I think this was her debut. Uh, so she was really good in it. She did a really great job. You really wanted to, uh, uh, to hug her. She was just great. The look was great. It was everything I remembered from Dr. Seuss. I mean, down to the last T. It, everything was great about the look. All the costumes were just as they are in the book. It was very, uh, it makes you feel good because it wasn't, they didn't change anything up on you. They wore very crazy clothes with dots and white and red and squiggle squiggly thinking about puppies. The, uh, the props, everything was, was right out of Dr. Seuss, the irregular angles and the, and the, 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 the curves, uh, curved edges, everything was really fluid and, and simplistic and, like I said, very much Dr. Seuss. They had like little surprises. They had uh, actually uh, the snow come down. They had um, confetti come from the sides at the end. They, they did a lot to kind of like draw kids' attention and the fact that it kept my two and a half year old son's attention was, it was great. They did a lot to do that. I hope this becomes an annual stage show. This would be something I'd love to take my kids to every year uh, just so they could grow up with it and uh, a tradition. I didn't like the show as much as uh, the, the shows that I see. I like this show um, because it was a classic and because it's something that I don't think will ever go away. Dr. Seuss, I think, I think has been here since before my parents and will be, be here for a long time to come.